Britain has pledged to send sophisticated rocket systems to Ukraine, joining the US and Germany in equipping it with advanced weapons in its war against Russia. Kremlin has warned of undesirable and unpleasant scenarios if the latest West-supplied weapons were fired into Russia. The European Union has formally approved an embargo on Russian oil and other sanctions targeting major banks and broadcasters. EU says Russian crude oil will be phased out over six months and other refined petroleum products over eight months. The Pakistani Taliban has announced an indefinite ceasefire with Pakistan's government after talks brokered by the Afghan Taliban government. The Pakistani Taliban said substantial progress had been made at the talks in Kabul. Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett claimed that Iran used documents stolen from the global atomic watchdog to help conceal that it was carrying out banned nuclear activity. Bennett showed copies of Iran's deception plan, including handwritten notes in Persian which said Iran needed to prepare a cover story. The powerful 6.1 magnitude earthquake that jolted China's Sichuan province on Wednesday has affected over 13,000 people and damaged five hydropower stations besides causing extensive damage to many houses. Chad has declared an emergency over food insecurity. The decree issued by Chad's interim president Idris Deby states that the decision follows the constant deterioration of the food and nutritional situation in the country. China's most advanced Type 003 aircraft carrier to date appears to be nearing completion, satellite photos show. Satellite images taken by Planet Labs PBC on May 31 suggest work on the vessel under construction at the Jiangnan shipyard is close to done. India rejected the U.S. State Department's report on international religious freedom, criticizing the Biden administration for practicing vote bank politics in international relations. We urge that assessments based on motivated inputs and biased views must be avoided, said India's Ministry of External Affairs.